You've heard the warning, but tonight you will see the consequences of an accident involving fireworks. Our Emily Longnecker spoke with a 10-year-old boy who learned a dangerous and powerful lesson. Making a basket used to come easily. Good job. These days, though, making even one basket is a huge victory for 10-year-old Dayton Minor. That's because Dayton is shooting with only his left hand. He has no choice. He lost all the fingers and part of his right hand last August in an accident with a firework he found in his driveway. It was underneath the car. So Dayton went inside and got a lighter. I saw him grab something off the table and he walked outside. And I followed him outside. I said, because I saw him try to light it, I said, Dayton, stop. Like, it just, like, immediately, like, just, like, blew up. I couldn't really, like, feel anything, like, at all. I heard the boom. Like, whoa, why is that? And then Dayton turned around, and he was starting to cry, and he had a big pull on his shorts, and his hand was just covered with blood. It looked like something from a war movie. When they laid me down, I still couldn't feel anything. Dayton was flown by helicopter to Riley Hospital for Children, where he underwent surgery and spent the next 10 days. Then came the next several months of follow-up visits to the hospital and healing, learning to be left-handed. It was, like, really, really hard, but... Now that I've done it a lot, it's actually really easy, and it only took me like a week to get used to it. You can see it better when it's all not wrapped. What's right taking now. longer to adapt, though, is a decision that sidelined Dayton for the entire summer, adding several more months of healing time. Right now it's kind of weird because they just added a bunch of skin to it, and I just got through a surgery, so I have to have the rest. In May, doctors removed the big toe on Dayton's left foot, attaching it to his right hand to act as a thumb. I had a hard time, a huge time, like, making this decision, like, do we do it, do we not? Two more surgeries in the summer and fall come next, where doctors will remove two toes from Dayton's right foot and attach them to his right hand, too. I didn't want to do it at all, but my mom keeps saying, like, it's going to be easier when you're older. And it's at least going to give him function back of that hand, give him the uh, function, you know. To where he can live an everyday life. It's hard to push him through the grass. And as normal as possible. For now, though, normal is hard for a 10 year old spending his summer in a wheelchair healing from surgery. It kind of stinks like watching everybody like play and stuff. Making YouTube videos with his brother passes some of the time. What's my favorite thing for a two uh, asses? Yeah, McDonald's. Big mm -hmm. nuggets. And whenever Dayton needs help, he's got hydraulics. His brother Nicholas is usually there for a push and a joke or two. Dayton's Titanic. Titanic. Dayton's still just a kid after all, one who's learned a really tough lesson about not playing with fireworks and why his mother always warned him about how dangerous they could be. There's no reason why they tell you that. Dayton knows it now and has a warning for other kids. I told them not to do it and they can get really hurt. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And Dayton will be headed back to Riley next week to schedule his next toe transplant, which will again involve months of recovery. And you know, despite these warnings, injuries like this continue to impact thousands of people every year. In fact, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission's latest report, U.S. emergency rooms treated nearly 12,000 people back in 2015 for firework-related accidents. Kids younger than 15 accounted for about a quarter of the injuries. Sparklers cause most of the problems, especially among children younger than five. So if you'd like to refresh your memory on some of the precautions that you and your family should put into place this holiday, head over to our webpage, WTHR.com, and search for the keyword firework safety. And there's another thing to keep in mind here. If you break the law while setting off the firework, your insurance policy may not cover any damage you've caused. But if someone else sets off fireworks and hurts you or damages your house, you will likely be able to make a claim under their insurance. Yeah, right now the fireworks are just interfering with everyone's sleep. Because <laughs>